Hey, what is up? My name is Alan from Unfiltered Bits, and you're probably in this video because you're looking to optimize your Marvel Rivals game, gain more FPS, lower the latency, make it more snappier, or, you know, in a weird case, you probably watched my other video, which is this video right here we're in. I actually have the guide and it now says outdated because this video, once it is out, is actually the better video that will show you even more better optimization than my last video. So let me first hop onto Marvel Rivals, show you the FPS that I'm getting with the base game. All right, right now we are on the Marvel Rivals game and this is my base game. Like this is without any optimization. But this is already on low settings. So if I head over to my display settings, I'm playing on full screen, 440p, AMD FSR, quality super resolution. If I scroll all the way down, everything is on the lowest possible settings. And we are getting around 130 FPS, which is pretty good um, considering my resolution and the specs that I have. By the way, full PC specs on the description down below. But yeah, now. Let me tell you something, if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card that is like the new one, probably a 30 series or even better, you can use DLSS and then just set it to the lowest possible settings. That would probably yield the best anti-aliasing and super resolution type settings for you. Now, if you're using lower than 30 series or 20 series and you're using an AMD graphics card or Intel graphics card, you should definitely not consider any of these except for the TAAU and then set it to 60 to 70 percent. Now on my last video optimization video I also did this and a lot of people were telling me that they actually had better experience with TAAU not only with the FPS but also with the latency uh, you know how, how their mouse moves it feels much more snappier. Now let me go back and then boom See the FPS? Do, do you see my FPS right now? And do you see the quality of the video? Like the quality of my game is pretty much still the same. And also my movement, my mouse movement also feels a lot more snappier. Now, some other questions that I've got on my other video is that should I turn on frame generation? You should never turn on frame generation. You want the lowest possible latency and you don't want your mouse feeling very glidey or slime if that makes sense. Now for low latency mode, if you do have the option, then turn it on. But that also depends on your CPU. If you are CPU bound by the game, then don't turn it on. It will make it more laggier or maybe cause some stutters. Now, if you are using an AMD graphics card, I want you to go right click it, go to AMD software, Adrenaline Edition, go to gaming, head over to Marvel Rivals, scroll down a little bit, and I want you to press on anti-lag right here. Just turn that on. Now, if you haven't enabled this yet, head over to Smart Technology Settings and make sure that AMD Smart Access Memory is actually enabled. Since that will actually give you the most amount of FPS, not only on Marvel Rivals, in all games. So yeah, just a bonus tip. That's not all. I want more model detail and texture detail. So I'm actually going to increase mine both to medium. And now this won't affect me too much. Why? Because I have a 12 gigabyte VRAM graphics card. So if you do have eight or more um, VRAM on your graphics card, I think you can safely go to medium or even high on texture and model detail without affecting your FPS. Maybe two to three FPS, but I doubt you would notice that. Anyway, that is about it on the graphic settings of the game. Now make sure that everything that you have set in here is like your final settings. You're not going to be changing anything here anymore because we're going to start messing around with the config files. But first, I'm going to go exit out of the game and, you know, put it to my desktop. So again, same to my last video. Big shout out to my hat has bullets. He made this config file, but I did modify it a little bit and add something else in it. So instead of going to this Reddit post, I actually made my own config file right here where I gave, you know, of course, credits to whoever made the codes. I actually optimized it a tad bit. I removed some stuff that caused a lot of people to crash on real games and even on practice range. And um, yeah, I also combined here the one that is made by PK Prel, which is to allow for better mouse movement and also for you know disabling mouse acceleration and blah 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 so yeah all you have to do now is head over to the description of this video you'll see this paste bin file and all you got to do is press copy on that once that is copied i want you to hit windows plus r on your keyboard percent local 
app data percent go down to m which is marvel now head over to marvel saved config windows game user settings is here we're not going to mess around with this one what we're going to do instead is create a new text file this text file should be called engine.ini now we have to remove this press yes on that open this and paste everything that is on my paste bin now this is just config this engine.ini it only messes with the local game settings it's not making you have any real competitive advantage except for fps but also this would not get you banned like really this will never get you banned but all you got to do now Control s save that and right click the engine.ini file properties and press on read only so that the game will never you know try to change any settings in the engine.ini now some people reported that they can't find the you know this this folder right here so what i do suggest is installing a program called everything from void tools and then you can search specifically for game user settings and then you will see where the you know the marvel rivals folder is to apply some further um, optimization to the game we can go ahead and find the exe file now where do i find that alan now you can actually find the marvel.exe file you can go to the library go to the marvel rivals go right click go to manage and then go to properties go to installed files and click on browse now once you press on browse you will pop up here but the file that we're looking for is actually the one that is located on marvel game now once you do that all you got to do is right click marvel.exe properties go to compatibility change settings for all users and then go ahead and click on disable full screen optimization go to change high dpi settings and on the high dpi scaling override just check on that set it to application press ok press apply press ok press ok again oh and you also want to go to marvel rivals marvel game marvel binaries win64 and then here you're also going to see the marvel win 64shippingexe properties and then go to compatibility and do the same thing disable full screen optimization or sorry go to change user settings like to all users disable full screen optimization and then the high dpi scaling the same thing that you've done with the marvel.exe and that's done now for an additional optimization if you have the time to install program again this program would not get you banned it's called process lasso what the program will be doing for us is set high priority on marvel rivals every time it runs so to use it you actually first have to run the game now that marvel rivals is open all you gotta do is open process lasso now i'm using the pro version but um this should also work with the free version now just search for marvel on the all processes tab and you're going to be seeing marvel-164-shipping.exe and also marvel.exe. Now all you got to do now is right click both of them, CPU priority, always high. Also same thing for the Win64, CPU priority, always and also high. Now for the Win64-shipping, I want you to go to IO priority, always and also set it to high. And even the memory priority. Now we're adding all of this up because we want everything to focus on our game Marvel Rivals like over anything else on our system. So now if I actually head over to let's say practice for now, uh, don't worry again I'll be showing you all of the settings done um, what FPS I'm getting in the game. So here I'm gonna go ahead and select Psylocke once again and you can probably see it by now. You can see that boost in my FPS. Look up there. Look. 200 FPS. I know this is on the range. I know the game doesn't look as good, but it gives you the most amount of FPS. If I look up now, I'm hitting 300 FPS. It just feels so snappy. And yes, I am still on medium texture settings. If I actually head in here, medium, medium. So that's why the model quality still looks kind of okay, but the actual terrain is not that good anymore. But yeah, that is about it for all the optimization that we can do for the game to get the most maximum FPS and the lowest possible latency. Now, if you have more tips, feel free to comment it down in the comment section below. If you have to add something in the config files or even if our program is, I want to test them just to show the viewers and other people what they can do for the game to run even better. 
anyway again my name is alan from unfiltered bits thanks so much for watching this video hit that like button subscribe share it with your friends especially those who have low-end pc setups so that they can play the marvel rivals game since it is a ton of fun and of course you can go ahead and check me out playing this game on twitch and tiktok at alan avila 11. thanks so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys next one have a nice day out of sight You deserve this shame. Welcome to the Dark Force Dimension. Do your worst. Onward to the World Tree. Only 60 seconds left. Far from legendary. These arms are dangerous. Another 